Can you spare me a crust of bread for the love of God? I haven't eaten for a week. Something, anything at all. It's about my son, Vincent. What seems to be the problem? Well, he's a very good boy. As his spiritual father, you know that. But there are things that are beginning to worry me. What kind of things? Just this morning, I saw him giving his lunch to a beggar woman on the street. He kept nothing for himself. Last week, he came home wet and cold because he had given his coat and shoes away. Oh, I do believe in giving to the poor father, but he gives no thought to himself. He's not a well child, either. Sometimes late at night, I look into his room, and instead of sleeping, he's kneeling on the floor before the Madonna. Between this and his fasting, Maria, I... the finger of God is here. But this is not normal for a child his age. Perhaps not for other children, but Vincent is a special boy. He's preparing for his life's work. You're saying he wants to become a priest? Yes. I understand now. And so be it, Father. Vincent Paolotti continued his service to the poor and was ordained a priest in 1818. After distinguishing himself as a theological scholar, he was offered a job as a seminary professor. Here he began laying the groundwork that would later enable him to spread his work throughout the world. The most important reference to it is, as I'm sure you're all aware from your various readings, God gave the commandment. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. God's Son gave the same commandment to his disciples. As the Father sent me, so I send you.
Oh, I don't think so. I don't even know who you are. I am Father Vincent Falocci, and I came to tell you that your daughter is healed. Healed? What do you know about my daughter? You say she's healed. I happen to know she's not healed at all. In fact, she's dying. That's where I was going to get our priest. There's no need of that. God has reached into your house and healed your daughter. Go and be with her. This is a day of joy. Giacomo, come quickly. Wait right here, Father. fever is completely gone and her eyes are open. It happened just now. Mama, could I have some water? Of course, dear. The priest. Father Palotti! Father, my daughter, Camila, her fever's gone. She's normal. She... I know. It is hard to understand. But she hadn't opened her eyes or spoken for days. Now... Just accept and believe it. And give thanks to God. Yes, of course, but I must also thank you. Here. Take this. For your work. Give it to the poor. As an offering to God. What do you think you're doing there? Get away from there. The church is closed. I'm sorry, Father. I... I just come for confession. Obviously, it's not possible today. Can't you see? The church is closed. You see what I mean about these people, Father? What can I do for you, Senor? I only want to pray to Our Lady and... and wait for confession. I am Father Pelotti, the new rector here. And I would be happy to hear your confession now. Oh, Father, I... Don Giovanni, I would appreciate it if you would open the church now and post a notice that I am available for confession every day. I am to hear the confessions of the many who sought him out, from the poor and needy, to the rich and the cardinals, even the Pope. throughout his life, continued service to the poor and the needy. Vincent also served those who were spiritually hungry.
Who are you? What are you doing here? It's all right, Mario. I didn't come here to hurt you. My name is Father Palotti. <coughs> A priest. If I had not dead when you walked in here last night, I would have killed you. Now you know. Do you still want to kill me? And when did you help me? Because you needed it. You have serious me. Did you hope to cure me with this? In a way. It's much harder for the body to heal itself when the heart is full of violence and anger. I brought this to you as a symbol of peace. Why don't you just lie back down now and try to get some more rest? I'll be right here if you need me. I have an idea, and I need your help. For what? I want to form a society, one that would accept everyone to do the work of priests. A society for everyone? Mm hmm A society that would welcome lay members from all social ranks and age groups to work alongside both the regular and secular clergy. To do what? To spread the faith together. To rekindle the concept of charity. I believe that each person has a responsibility towards the welfare of his neighbor as himself. It's a great idea and one that is needed, of course, but such a huge new work. Oh, not new. One that revives the fundamental teachings of the church, but using modern methods, an unselfish spirit, and true humility. But how, specifically? I see it being led by a body of priests living a community life. We could start right here, at this church. Here? At this church? Why not? First of all, we'd bring in all those priests who were faithful to our ideas to live here. They'd be the ones to constitute the membership, along with the sisters and all the lay members. It would be like full citizenship for the laity. Your Holiness's approval, I would like to submit this memorandum I have prepared, which details certain information you may not be aware of. This, I presume, concerns your Catholic apostolate. Yes. I believe it will clarify certain misunderstandings that have arisen about our work. The objection we have heard is that by taking the name Catholic Apostolate, you are claiming the entire Apostolate of Christ's Church. There was no such intention, Your Holiness. Just as St. Ignatius had no intention of claiming the entire person of our Lord in founding the Society of Jesus. Yes, this is indeed true. 
Our society venerates its special mission and its own unique works. They are all listed there. And they are efforts not being duplicated by any other existing society, to my knowledge. Very interesting. I must tell you, I was given a completely different impression of your society. This information changes things. I think you've been spoken of falsely. This is an admirable work, Father. In truth, Your Holiness, I am not worthy of praise. This is Christ's work. I am merely his servant. Then go as his servant and continue your work with my blessing. And may your society always prosper. Mm -hmm. of a congregation of sisters of the Catholic Apostolate.